Hello, I am Kristen and welcome to my channel. I am here talking about healing my body and mind through nutrition and exercise. Welcome if you are new and welcome back if you are following along. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button, like and comment, comment, comment. I love to hear your comments. So I told you the other day that I have a mango tree that did not grow many mangoes this year. That's it back there. And we're having issues with iguanas. So if you are in Miami, I need to figure out a way to get rid of these iguanas. We never had iguana issues. Sorry, I put my thumb in the way. <laughs> we never had iguana issues ever. I'm not on a canal. I'm not near a lake. Like, I don't know what's going on. There is a canal probably a few streets down, but I don't know what's going on. And now they're trying to get up in my tree and eat my few little mangoes I have. So I'm going to have to bring those mangoes down. But let's dive in, <laughs> right? Um, today I am just a little bit off. I have a little bit of a migraine. I kind of had a headache yesterday and I thought it was because I went on a field trip with my son and we were outside and we are in sunny Miami. And so it's getting really, really hot out here. And I thought maybe it was because of the sun that I was getting a headache. Since I was little, I suffer from migraines and a lot of times I get the migraines because of the heat, um, probably dehydration, even though I drank a lot of water yesterday. I don't know. It's, it's really annoying. So um, I just decided to come out today, get a little bit vitamin D, get some grounding in because I feel like my body just needs it, even though right now I should be in a bathing suit and probably in the pool because it's so damn hot out here. So as you know, if you've been following along, I did a hundred days straight of carnivore and then I tried to reintroduce fruits on a more animal based diet, but it didn't quite work out. So I went back to carnivore and then I retested my theory that I might have an allergy to pineapple and sure enough I did so pineapple is a no-go I have to kind of start over again see if I reintroduce some other fruits maybe um, you know a day or two in a row and then maybe take a little break in between I don't know that I want to do it consistently I know that more animal-based people that do this diet always implement some type of fruit with their meat but I'm honestly not a fruit person where I feel that I need to have it every day but I do like the idea of implementing it as a snack or in between or on a summer day like this that we're out by the pool um, my kids love fruit so I love to just kind of add that to something that I can eat off my menu of very limited food supply right of what I can eat and what I can't and what's healing my body and what is harming it so I'm still on that journey as you know, just trying to figure it out, seeing what works for me, seeing what doesn't. And as of right now, it does feel like I am more than likely going to have to stick to a carnivore diet for the rest of my life. I don't know. Things may change. Our bodies change. Our gut changes. Um, whereas at one point in my life, I can eat spicy food. Then it got to the point where I can no longer eat spicy food and it would trigger my microscopic colitis, right? So we change. We change over time. We have to see what works for us, what doesn't. And I truly believe that everybody is different. There's no one size fits all. I've said it before. And I also just want to know, again, I am not a doctor nor a nutrition or a dietitian. I am just a mom of three with a lot of issues, <laughs> trying to figure it all out, trying to get my life on track, trying to feel good, trying to feel Sane, right and some days are going to be harder and some days are going to feel amazing and I just want to say that even through the hard I am so blessed to have a beautiful family I am so blessed to be able to walk outside and feel the sun on my skin and touch the ground and so are you. So if you are having a hard day today, please take a moment and wherever you are, whether it's hot, whether it's cold, step outside for a few minutes. Just feel the sun on your skin. If it's raining, run in the rain, right? And enjoy nature. Enjoy this beautiful world that we live in, this chaotic world that we live in sometimes. And I'm just going to continue, continue on trying to figure out what is going to work for me. So 
Yesterday, I showed you a little quick little snack that I had when I was on the go. It is such a great idea and I want to try to come up with a couple other little quick and easy snacks that we can put together when we go out. So if it's something that you're interested in, please comment below and let me know and maybe I'll put a little video together of easy and quick snacks that we can take on the go. So ah, that's about it today. Um, I did want to say yesterday I did my first live video with a couple of beautiful women who are also on this carnivore meat journey and it is absolutely amazing to meet other people who understand you who can relate to you some of them uh, said that they felt like I was speaking their truth in a way because they suffered through anxiety or depression or had similar issues or have spoken to somebody with gut issues or thyroid issues right so this is something that we're all just kind of trying to figure out. And the only thing that I can say is that I hope that more doctors start to really hone in and really do a little bit more research on the carnivore and that we can get more information out there to see why is this helping so many people? That should be the question. Because a lot of people always have the question of, Eating too much meat is going to give you a heart attack. Um, you're going to raise your cholesterol, right? All the negative stuff that we've always heard. And yet there's people who have been doing this for a few years and are feeling their best and have great blood work uh, testings and no anxiety and no depression and more energy and no more brain fog, no more inflammation. Some people have gotten off their meds. So there is something to say about this carnivore diet. There is something. So whether you believe in it or not, whether you're here trying to figure it all out for yourself, continue to do your research, see what works best for you at the very least. It is a great, great elimination diet. And I truly highly recommend at the very least 30 days, but really you should do up to 90 or like me, 100, just because I wanted to round it off. <laughs> I hope that you have a beautiful day and I will see you again tomorrow. I'm going to just be here in the sun for a little bit longer, get my vitamin D, get my grounding game on and enjoy this beautiful, beautiful 